Wait, remember when he had the Wookiee suit? Yeah, I saw the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, I'm Mike Tyner. I'm a new member of the Free State Project. I recently moved to Manchester just a couple of weeks ago. And today we are going to consistently do Fiji outreach in front of the Hillsborough County uh, Courthouse here on Chestnut Street in downtown Manchester. And we got a pretty good group of uh, activists for the first time here today. And uh, that's about it. Well, we'll get started here. We're waiting on the guy with the flyers or the pamphlet. So once he gets here, uh, we'll be able to get started. But so, is this um, what prompted you to, to to get this going today? Well, you know. The guys in Keene have been doing it pretty consistently for a year now, and uh, Ian Bernard was uh, kind enough to call everybody out, all the activists, and say, hey, you guys should be doing this. And, you know, he's right. This is uh, a no-brainer to me. I think everybody should be doing this across the state. Um, it's the one thing where, you know, we can really kind of work within the system uh, to have a pretty good effect on, you know, advancing with the Manchester's been much more of the... You know, we're working in the system, you know, doing the pol the political thing, that sort of thing. Which, and let me say, a lot of the Keniacs think that civil disobedience is outside the system activism. It's not. It's in the system activism. By definition, civil disobedience, you're looking for a law, violating it, and forcing the government to either enforce their law or to not enforce it, in which case you say, look, if you're not going to enforce the law, why do you even have the law? So... That's civil dis is inside the system activism. You got a comment on that? Well, just that I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of the civil dis. So, uh, you know. And that, I think that's probably a good reason why we're doing the Fiji outreach because I might need you as a juror to vote to acquit whatever I'm in trouble for. So. Has there been any <laughs> other, uh, fallout from. Uh, no, no, not yet, actually. I haven't heard back from the police chief in the letter that I sent from him, but I did find out that uh, when I met with um, one of the guys from the Friends of Valley Street, because we're planning to do open carry litter pickups over there, uh, I got invited to their board meeting, which actually takes place right across the street here at the police station, and guess who sits on the board of directors? Police Chief Mara. So I'm going to try to sit next to him and introduce myself and, uh, you know, see if we can get a dialogue going. Thank you, sir. It's a bit hard to fold them on an eight and a half by eleven. You have to cut off the edges. Are they like? Otherwise, eight, they don't fold. Are they like eight four or something? I don't know. They're just slightly smaller than eight and a half by eleven. <laughs> was the first interaction? Um, that was Paulette. She's the jury clerk here at the uh, Superior Court. I've spoken with her on the phone. She's a very nice lady. Uh, she just wanted to come outside and let us know that, you know, we can't be like in the main throwaway here and we can't be inside. She asked if we could stay off to the side and not harass anybody, which I told her there's no problem at all. And she actually wanted to read a copy of the pamphlet herself. So she was uh, interested to see what it says and she, you know, kind of thinks that uh, jury nullification is an interesting concept. So. Now, did I read some place that uh, somebody got into a similar conversation with somebody on the phone well, in, in asking about uh, when I rights? Was that you? When I first came here to find out what the deal was with uh, uh, the jury selection process and what days it happened, um, I encountered a little bit of resistance from a bureaucrat, you know, behind the glass. And uh, um, she told me that who I would speak, I would have to speak with was the jury clerk. And when I asked, you know, who that person was, she said, just call and ask for the jury clerk. So I finally did get a hold of Paulette. She's a really nice lady. Um, you know, I don't think that we're going to have any problems here today. The security guys are in there looking at us kind of hard, but, you know, they know that we're peaceful activists. We're not here to cause a disruption or anything. So it'll be all right. Or we could. One of the attorney generals or ex attorney generals is on the record as saying that they recognize jury nullification. They try to keep it hush hush, but it's not, well, they, they're on those, their statements on the record. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing that would be useful to include is that thing at RSA C11 that says that you don't actually need to be a lawyer to be someone's counsel. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. <laughs>
at the um, NH blog, we're going to actually start doing little pamphlets like that to hand out to people who want to tell them about all their, their rights. Um, myself and Bill and Ivy Walker, we set up a website back in February called the New Hampshire Courtroom Legal Opposition Group. And this is basically about educating people how to defend themselves in the system. And the, the name is sort of a joke because if everybody actually went in there and defended themselves instead of taking plea bargain, it would clog the courts. The website is nhclog.org. And um, you know, we, got all, we document cases that we've helped out with. Right now it's mostly Ivy stuff. Cassidy stuff is up there now too. One of my cases was up there. And um, we're putting up information collecting in one place, like links to where all the courts are, all the county attorneys, all the jails, and the phone numbers and all that. All in one place so people can find that. We're going to eventually put up stuff about how to, um, like the actual court procedures to follow if you want to defend yourself. Something that's very important about New Hampshire is a, um, a law here called RSA 311, where you can basically be somebody's counsel in court without actually being a bar member or a quote-unquote attorney. And Ivy's done that for a few people, also consulting with people behind the scenes, stuff like that. And we also, we link to FIJA on there, and there's another website that a guy named Ofer just set up called um, FIJANH.info, and that's going to document all of this stuff. Basically, um, find out when jury selection is for every single one of the 11 courthouses around the state and list that up there and talk about like what we've been doing here. And um, some other people were suggesting making our own New Hampshire specific flyers for FIJA about specific RSAs that we have here, court precedents, statements that we have from the government here about jury nullification. Well, you know, and if you're throwing an event, that's great, but have it organized, Right. you know get together and, and with the after action reviews we always do three questions how did it go what did we do right and what can we do better next time right what Grab some breakfast or something? Uh, After, oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. yeah we're early enough to eat and be here. <laughs> yeah. So what'd you think? Well, hey, it was a good first time, I think. Uh, pretty successful. We handed out almost a hundred of them, and I would say our conversion rate was about what do you think, sixty percent? So, um, I think uh, we're gonna post some things like some suggestions for people on like how to approach the potential juror. Um, we got a lot of maybe we don't want to phrase it as a yes or no question because they can always turn it down. But um, yeah, I'd say for the first time it was pretty good. So. So when's the second time? Well, it's going to be every other Monday, so I'm not sure of the date right now. I'm not going to pull my phone out and look at the calendar, but I'll, I'll, I'll post it. It'll be two weeks from today, so and then every two weeks after that. So we're going to do this pretty consistently, <laughs> rain or shine, snow or uh, nice weather like we're having today. So. And what's the address here? The address is 300 Chestnut Street, downtown Manchester. So. Thanks, Nation. See you there.